Right, that fits as expected. I'm going to put a 20mm button on this wall and set back a little bit down here so that I can get a scribing piece in there, a sprayed sp scribing piece. Bit of tubby one along there, piece across the back of the washing machine. I need to level it through first. And before I forget, there's a blanking panel to go on the on the edge of this unit behind there, stop crap falling down. But I can't find it because there's boxes all over the place. Some boxes there, there's some upstairs. So I'm going to use this. It's already been cut down. And I'm going to fix these in place. We still haven't got these oven, fridge freezer. So I'm not sure what height they finish at. He did send me the specs, but they're not that much use. And to be honest, I don't really trust them. I'd prefer to have the actual things stood in there. Then I can work off those. Right, I'm just going to fit this fit this end panel. I need to take this unit out, but it's not fixed back to the wall yet anyway. And for you, Michael, corner post installation. Little blocks there. This needs to finish. There's going to be a door on here, so you want it at the same level. There's a 500mm door going in here. It's just the centre of this. So I'll put my mark there, and I'm giving it a little bit. I'm making the doors for this, so I'll make that the size that I want it to be. 500mm doors are about 495, 497, so that maybe wants to come forward a little bit. I made this the same size as the corner post that was existing, which is like 55 by 60, slightly different sizes. So I put this the narrowest distance there because I want the maximum, I wanted the maximum there. And it's basically little connector blocks, hold it on the face there. And the, and the size of the unit. I'm going to do the same thing with this end panel, little connector blocks top and bottom. So when I'm inside there, I'll be able to unscrew it, drop it down, slide it out of the way, and I can get to those ones to get this corner post off. And if you don't have pipes and all stuff like that, and straight walls to deal with, you could just put this unit together and then shove it into your corners as suited and then come off them. You know, putting your next units in. Right, that end panel's in. So just a little, couple of little blocks on the inside, so I can take it off the, from the inside. But there's a magic corner thing going in here, and once I put that in, I might not be able to get in to do that. So... I don't know. When I want to take these off. Mm. I don't know. I'll think about that. But yeah, that's it. Little track came in useful again in this tight little space. But two we want to go against the wall there to take the end of the worktop. I'll put this unit back in, fix it back. I'm going to have to pack it off the wall because it's a bit like that one. Another turbo one, back of the washing machine. Drainers going here, so that definitely needs a piece. I'm going to put one against the wall there, I pack it off, screw this unit to it. And like I say, another one down the wall there. These are dot and dab walls. And if it's anything like when I took them off there, It'll be crap, so I won't be able to tighten the screws up too much. Mm -hmm. I just put that batman on, 
just put this unit back in place I can't get to the screws and I can't be asked taking that panel off so I think I'm going to drill some holes through here so that I can just get my screwdriver straight through you never see them behind there once this unit's in you'd have to get your head right around there should have just cut some access holes with jigsaw before I put it on nobody will see that break out Uh, I've got a washing machine here, dragged it out because there's a hole down there where the old waste pipe used to be. It's tempting to just put a patch over the top of it, but trying to slide this in, this washing machine weighs a ton and there's going to be a work top on eventually. So trying to get it over that patch is just going to be a bit of a pain. So experience tells me I put full size packers in. I've got a line there where the front legs are going to be. So I'll put a couple of screws in them and it'll maybe even make it easier to slide this thing in and out. I'm screwing these cabinets together and I get the front to flush. Then I'm going to put a clamp on. I've got the countersink bit set so that the drill bit's just just the depth of the just a little bit more than the depth of the cabinet. And I'm just using screws for this. These are two cabinets. Measure 35mm. These are 30mm screws. You can get connector bolts, but we haven't got any. So what I like to do is drill a hole, but don't make don't make the countersink. And just just pull it flush, and the screw makes a nice flat, neat finish. All right, that's in. Decided to put a button right along at the back because sink's getting cut out here, so there'll just be a skinny bit there. There's no room at the back of here for any kind of pipes. This dishwasher pipe is connected there by a metal bracket. Look, don't know what they're supposed to. I was supposed to do that, so I'm hoping that it'll just just about fit onto the onto the trap. I've got a battle on there. Packed it, fixed it. There's one down there. I'm going to glue a little scribing strip to but that gap there is parallel so a door should fit and everything's plumbing level my holes for screwing things back in work to treat that's good now I have to work out all these bags that somebody's already opened and just turn them all in there but like I say they've had this kitchen for quite a while so they're, they're all mix and match I'll have to go through them and see what's what I need what goes where right there in pulled that right back to get it plumb this way and it's plumb the other way as well there's a screw up there and there's a screw up there they feel absolutely solid I had to put a little packer in there these units quite often have end panels on them, but we haven't got the space really. Um, I would really like to be fitting, fitting the hob, which is going there, and the sink, and of course the joint, which will be going that way, not that way. You don't want it running down by the side of the sink, so I'll be running that across there. But they haven't got them, they haven't got the hob or the sink, 
they're not coming till later next week with these oven and fridge freezer so I need to put these drawers in and the magic corner and I think there's a little larder thing that goes in there just so that I can check the sizes of my doors I think that's just a standard door but these drawers I want to get the distances right but when I come and put the worktops on all that's going to have to come out if these runners are soft clothes you don't you don't want any crap and rubbish in them and that magic corner I don't know it might just unclip so I can take it out so I can get to the bolts the worktop bolts that I'm going to be putting on but same again you don't want dust and crap on that so that's a bit frustrating but I'll give it a good clean and get these drawers and things in right they're all in drawers are in pan drawer this corner unit magic corner unit Looks complicated, but it was a piece of this. Anyway, I can measure all the doors now, apart from these, until we get those appliances. <laughs> 